Okay, we're doing a cooking video. We're doing canning and we're canning dried beans tonight because when you have those dried beans cooked in the pressure canner, they turn out perfect. They're delicious, they're amazing. And if a crisis should happen and we don't have electricity, you will save so much of your propane or other fueling sources to cook your beans with that are hard and they'll already be done. This is the benefit of having cooked beans already. And they're a lot cheaper to do it this way than in the canned, because one can could cost you a dollar or more, especially if they're organic. But you can do so much more and I'll show you. So I'm using pint jars. You can use quart. Pint jars cook for 75 minutes in a pressure canner. Quart cooks for 90, okay? So we have all these different kinds of beans here. We have black eyed peas, we have great northern, we've got red kidney, and maybe we'll do some of each in each jar. If it's a really hard, like extremely hard bean, like a, like a chickpea, they're kind of big and hard and round, you soak that, those first. Black beans too, if you soak them, they turn out better in the pressure canner after you have soaked them for about six to 12 hours. So I'll be doing another batch in the morning with some of the soaked ones. These are the non-soak ones. Okay, so that's a good tip for you there. What you're gonna need is just a half cup of beans for each pint jar. Okay, I like to put uh, that guy there. seasonings like salt pepper I have a little bit of this jalapeno from my garden over here that I grew I'm just gonna add it to a couple just to give a little bit of flavor to some of these a little spicy kick and that's it and you could do anything you wanted to season these up maybe some garlic now we just fill them up to the top with some hot water I'm using fresh, clean, filtered water that's really hot. Now we take our dry paper towel, maybe just make sure there's no chips and in this at all, you want to make sure everything's smooth or those rings, those lids will not seal, it will be bad. Now, when you see a floating bean, I don't know what that means, but some people were scooping them, those ones out like they weren't good beans. But, I don't know. Looks okay to me. Okay, I've got some vinegar here. I'm dipping it in a little vinegar. This helps to seal the lids even better. So we just use a little bit of that. And now the rings, or the lids. by putting this on and once it comes to pressure which is about 15 then we time it for 75 minutes and then I turn off the heat I let it release pressure naturally and then I take the jars out okay the steam is going you can hear it you can see it we need to time that for 10 minutes it has to have a full steam for 10 minutes and then we put 
the, the um, weight on there and the pressure will come up. Okay, so now we have the bob, the bob right here on there, whatever you call it, pressure thing. And it's coming to pressure. We're gonna watch the pressure, make sure it doesn't go below like 11. So it's gonna stay above that. And it's gonna go for 75 minutes. And I'm gonna actually start timing it once I see it rattle back and forth. So it'll shake back and forth. So we'll keep our eye on it. Okay, you can hear it shaking. You can see it shaking. Timer starts now, 75 minutes on the clock. We can control the temp here, keep it around 15, and we're good to go. Okay, it's actually the next day now. So all we need to do is take our lid off and make sure everything is sealed up good. And I'll bring it over here and show you. Um, I'll put it out on this little cookie sheet here. Okay, here they are. Now this, they are all sealed. This one I pressed down just barely and it could be sealed. It may not be sealed. We just wanna always test because if it's not, yeah, I mean, it's pretty sealed there. It's not coming up when I pull with my fingertips. So um, it looks like they all sealed. What I should have done was put that vinegar in the water and then my jars would be nice and clear. As you can see, they're not nice and clear because of the hard water. You always want to put vinegar in there if you want your jars to be pretty, but no big deal. I mean, we're just gonna store these. Food storage, datum. Okay, so there's our beans, and I'm gonna do the chickpeas today. The chickpeas have been soaking for overnight. And I and so since I've soaked them, I pre-soaked them. Instead of adding a half cup of beans, I will add one full cup of beans, and then just fill up the rest with some water. But here you go. This is how you can beans. Easiest way ever, and then they're done. These are the beans. These are the white beans here, and these are garbanzo beans. And I put some spices in each one and I pressure canned these. And we've got another eight jars here. So 16 jars total of all the beans that we did. We just need to now label them and store them, find a place to store them. And then we want some fresh beans for some protein. We will rinse these really, really well and they will be amazing. So there you have it guys. You just learned how to pressure cook beans, canned beans. No excuses. I would get this done right away so that when power goes out and you don't want to use your propane for hours and hours cooking your beans down to make them into a softer state. Here you go. They're already done. Okay. Alrighty. We will see you later.